Welcome back to my channel. Here, we are working on the third member of my party for the Abomination Vaults, an investigator of the occult whose methodology and special is in forensic medicine. An investigator is a martial-based intelligence class using ranged or finessed weapons and their keen intellect to understand their opponents and land a blow. A perfect example of how an investigator fights is Robert Downey Jr.'s depiction of Sherlock Holmes. Here is a clip that best depicts this. First, distract target. Then block his blind jab. Counter with cross to left cheek. Discombobulate. Dazed, will attempt wild haymaker. Employ elbow block and body shot. Block feral left. We can write draw. An investigator accomplishes this by using their ability to devise a stratagem, where you use an action to roll your attack using your intelligence modifier instead of dex or strength. If you are pursuing that creature, it's a free action. Just like the clip earlier, you have to be able to see the foe and assess the situation to find its weak point. The player's method of investigation is forensic medicine. Finding clues left behind by trails of blood, a body's fracture or puncture wounds, and the bugs that come to feast on bodies post-mortem. This form of investigator also has advanced mid-combat healing options that I haven't seen anywhere else but the medic dedication. They also get forensic acumen skill, which allows them to dissect bodies and understand how they came to be slain more easily than others with a recall knowledge check. The art the player picked is this one, and it came from an artist in Korea whose name is Hin, and whose link will be in the description below. Now that we understand the character and have viewed the desired art, Let's delve into how his character token shall look. Right off the bat, I had added a hat per the player's request, as the original art is fantastic, but didn't fit the concept in his head 100%. As an investigator, I honestly immediately jumped to two token ring designs, a monocle and a magnifying glass. The magnifying glass would require a handle to feel proper, so I actually avoided that idea immediately but a monocle seemed to fit just right with the class theme. The player's idea of being interested in the occult and dark entities like Cthulhu also helped inspire the design quite a bit. I added a pane of glass behind the rim of the monocle, smudged stronger colors for a reflective look, and then lowered the overall opacity so that you could see through it when it was on the map. The player had also told me that he will delve further into the occult once he hits level 2, and take on the Witch Dedication, granting him a Familiar of Choice. This is covered later, but I decided to place the owl art he chose on his character's shoulder. Next up, Tentacles. The Abomination Vault art and player's guide is still all that I know about the adventure basically, and with that, there are plenty of tentacles visible within the art itself. As someone interested in dark beings, these would make excellent additions to the token art. I started with finding multiple art pieces of tentacles that I could use to wrap around the token and character a bit. Once I found at least two, I added them in and started to figure out their coloring. 
I was thinking an eldritch purple with pink suckers, but they didn't feel quite right. I had decided to give them a blue-green tint to them and stuck with that for now. This is where I would have ended this token originally, but the player then gave me some excellent criticism to chew on. After getting all the criticism I could, I jumped immediately back into the token from where I left off. He wanted a Lovecraftian sign somewhere, and the two I had found and chosen were either the Necronomicon sigil or the Elder Sign. He showed preference for the Elder Sign, so I had that be multiplied just under the character art so it would be on top of the monocle and glass and would make a soft image so that it wouldn't draw your attention too much to it. After the sign was added, I then moved on to changing the tentacle's coloration to something that fit into the theme more readily. A disgusting, sickly green in an opaque skin color. I spent quite a bit of time with this and added some shadowed sections to better fit the lighting the art has on it to make it fit properly with the rest of the piece. The next bit of criticism I was given was for the monocle itself. He liked the design, but wanted the colors to match his dice he'll be using in Foundry, and the colors he akins to sanity in Eldritch Horrors the best, yellow and purple. I found a copper texture and used that as the base and cut out the exact same monocle shape I had already created. I then took that shape, then beveled it and ended up keeping the yellow tint I had for the bright side of the bevel, which the player said would better represent madness. Next, I tinted the copper texture purple. I tried to freehand it for a bit, but ended up using the eyedropper tool to get the exact purple from his dice. Overall, with all the changes, he loved the token's look and feel, and I'm quite pleased with it too. But, I already had the owl art he selected for his familiar, so I'll double up and make its token in this video too. The investigator and the witch share the exact same key stat, intelligence. And being someone of the occult, a witch is the perfect class to put dedication points into. And witches from the get-go have a familiar. Witches get a mystery which is the source of their power from an entity beyond mortal understanding, and the mystery the player chose was the cosmos. And with that, he got a cosmic owl. The artist who made the owl is named Ella, who's from Sweden. A link to her art station will be down below as well. This was, by far, the easiest design I had done in a while. I knew just by looking at the owl what the token would be when the player said he'd likely have one for the familiar to act on its own when not on his shoulder. I first found a nice clean crescent shape, very similar to the one on its head. 
I then cut out the background quickly and then situated the art where I wanted it. Next, I gave the crescent an outer glow and inner glow of the exact same color as the moon shape on the owl, a very pale blue tone. I then duplicated the owl's head and placed it exactly where it was originally so I could maximize the layering potential. Body, crescent, head to use the space to the fullest. Finally, I found blue stars that I could place a few of on the outside, and then found a picture of our very own La Luna that I matched up the shape of the crescent to the image of the moon. I then burned its image onto the crescent to get the final look. And there we have our two tokens, the Investigator and his Cosmic Familiar. The sooner we kill them all, the sooner we can leave these forsaken wastes. His blood is the only useful thing about him. Here, we have three of the characters gathering round, and an owl who's a bit early besides them. Thanks for watching and sticking around till the end. Please hit like and subscribe as the next token is the final member of our party, a holy cleric of Serene Ray. I own birds cleverer than you.